Good morning YouTubers, it's Saturday the 5th of September 2015 uh, back down in my son's garden and this is what I'm doing with the strawberry runners I'm going to plant them all in here um, I'll get all of these in there and I've got a spare bed well I've got two spare beds but I haven't got enough soil I didn't buy enough soil to fill them nonetheless um, I will plant all this today and uh, I'll let you see it when it's finished now folks um, Brian's uh, digging out um, the grass in order to put the, the lip of the holy tunnel into the ground which makes it more secure uh, and then we'll just um, stamp it down and the grass should go back. You would ne you'll never know that we've moved grass. Not that it would matter anyway, but um, that's what he's doing. I'll get a bit closer. Okay, um, I thought I'd show you this bit, YouTubers. Um, this is a water uh, collecting bit. It's on the left hand side of the tunnel and the other side is windows, but this one's for collecting moisture. So it's quite a deep, it's quite deep and it, I think it would be quite effective. It goes all the way along the tunnel, runs all the way along and it's got this little velcro thing that you can put down or bring up to sort of guide it you, these are adjustable so you know if you want you know put a barrel some sort of barrel there uh, to collect the water a barrel both ends actually but yeah that's uh, quite handy isn't it very handy sorry about this yeah that's very handy and that will collect all the water that we need, that we will need, so my son won't have to keep bringing out water for us. And uh, we've, we've, well, Brian's done one side now, um, and we've got all the way around here at the back of the tunnel to do, and then all the way around there, and the bits at the, the wee bit at the front. So, I'll let him get on with that. And I'll, I'll speak to you later. Right folks, this is the problems we've been having with the, the door uh, latches. Um, they're supposed to go in there, obviously. But, uh, where they've drilled the holes for the, the thing, as you can see, it doesn't fit. So what we've had to do is to lock it like that and uh, that's a good fit, it comes underneath like that but that's a fault in the, if they'd have drilled it well, I mean we could drill another hole I suppose and put it in properly but it holds just as well like that so we're not going to bother we're going to leave it just like that 
so problem solved. Good morning YouTubers, it's the 7th of September 2015 today, that's Monday, back down the allotment and Brian's just pulled up all the broccoli plants, they're all over now, still got broccoli on them but not very much, so we're tidying the allotment up today, trying to get sort of this half tidied. Uh, and I'm going to try and do the flower bed because it's sorely needing done. And I'll get back to you when we've done a bit more. Now Brian's going to dig this over. Uh, tidy it up a bit. Uh, but I won't bore you, I'll speed it up. Well, folks, I've just picked this strawberry, huge one. Um, very good to get something like that this time of year. These strawberry plants, they're all flowering again. I mean, hopefully. Uh, hopefully we'll get some uh, more strawberries off of it. But these ever bearing strawberries are always like this. They always, uh, until the frost take them, they'll just carry on uh, producing, you know. So, anyway. Yeah, this is Carl, and this is his new plot. And it's one of the ones that was empty for ages. And he's, uh, he's tackling the grass. Um, I think the grass was shoulder high and uh, he's got a week off his work and uh, he's uh, going to use that week um, tidying up this plot. So, best of luck to him. But he's got a good strimmer there so he'll make light of that work I think with that strimmer. It's a fair size pot, double pot it is. So it'd be about the same size as our one, maybe slightly smaller, but a lot of work needed. So, and lots of these uh, cabbage white butterflies still about.
some wild fox. The fox has had a field day with my strawberries. We dug them all up. So now I need to sort them all out. And uh, they made a proper mess. But um, I shall put netting and hoops over, so I should save the day, I think. There we are, folks. We've put nets on them now, so I'm assuming that the that the foxes won't uh, want to mess with the nets. But you never know. And this is my uh, grapevine, which I've taken down into the big pulley tunnel now. And I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to thread uh, along there and uh, I will take it out of the pot and I'll bury it in the soil and I'll train one, there's two branches, one will be trained up on this pole here and this longer one We'll come all the way over to that pole there, so we'll have it coming down. Well, hi folks, we're back home now and um, wanted to show you the harvest we took from the plot the other day of uh, the white onions. Um, yeah, fair size, yeah, very good. Very good and uh, loads of shallots, uh, however we did not have very good success with the banana shallots. Um, out of a row I got two and they look a bit pathetic. So I don't know what went wrong there, it could have been the soil they were in, I'm not sure. But um, we're very pleased with all the other shallots, we just got loads of them and they only cost me 10 pence um, to buy. Uh, got a bit of a bargain there. If you can see all those down there. But we, got lo we just got loads of them. And a few more red onions that, were, that I missed before. Um, but yeah, very pleased. Um, and I want to give a shout out to uh, a new allotment here. His name is Raf, R-A-F, Raf's Kitchen Garden. I'll put the, the channel name in the bottom of this clip. And he's just started out, he's just got a new plot and he's thrown 110% into uh, getting it right. So if you've got a minute or two to spare, uh, why don't you try his channel? Um, help him out, give him a helping hand. Um, as you have me and a lot of other ones. So these are my sunflower seeds. Sunflowers, they're just drying. I've got lots, lots. I aim to feed them to the wild birds. Um, some flowers there. These are some fruit bushes that need to go in my son's garden. The banging in the background is my husband. He's making tables for the new polytunnel. And my job today is to paint them. How exciting! <laughs> oh well. Just get on with it, don't we? Uh, some um, giant pansies and some um, lavender. Um, the, the slugs have been in here and they've eaten every one of my lupins. Well, that's not a lupin, that was a hollyhock. It was a hollyhock, but they've eaten it. Can you see that? Never mind. Um, in my new polytunnel, I won't be using these because the slugs can crawl up them. But I've noticed 
that if you do wooden uh, ones, they have a harder job climbing up because of the the roughness of the wood. They don't like to climb up there, so um, I'm not too bothered because I've got plenty of lupin seeds, so not too bothered about that. Uh, I'll take you into the other pool later and I'll see if there's anything else going on. Bear with me. There we are. These are uh, polyanthus. Polyanthus. Uh, these ones are the Catananchi. Catananchi. They're coming on. My aloe vera. And then over here, hollyhocks. Some more pansies. Some camellias. Um, some aguilera, aguilera, which I need to prick out, but I'm not going to do any of that until we get the tables in the large pulley tunnel. Um, and that's my uh, grapevine. My other grapevines. These are the globe ones, the red ones. Um, these are these are just spare peppers. Um, but they've got little peppers on them. Not very good. But uh, I'm not too bothered about them. Um, these ones, I'm pretty sure, are the hot wax ones weird weird shapes weird weird shapes but that's all right then we've got this one these are definitely jalapenos jalapenos definitely uh what else have we got there's another one of my grapevines i've got four grapevines in all and uh, this, this is a bell, obviously a bell pepper. It's a Marconi bell, bell pepper. Um, oh, not much else going on here. Not much else. Hmm. Uh, I didn't have a great success with the the peppers in the polytunnels. I don't know why, but uh, the ones in the allotment certainly did me did me uh, proud because they were just spare. But uh, yeah, they, they were great. Anyway, that's all for now, folks. Um, and we'll see you in the next video. And you all take care. Bye for now. Right, folks. This is the Avon Gorge. in the distance, way way in the distance, is the Clifton Suspension Bridge. Let's see if I can get any closer. Sorry, I'm going through the railings. Still not getting it. Hang on. I'm going to try it now. There it is there. That section here. I think I'm getting it. Yeah. That's the Clifton Suspension Bridge. See where them two lorries are parked up down there? Two lorries? Yeah, down on oh, the Oh, yeah. Well, that bit behind it there, that is the Great Quarry. Yeah. I got it. Known as the tennis court. Because the sun's shining, I can't really see too well. That, that is some drop down there, isn't it? Look at that. That's very scary. And this is on the other side of the... This is the rest of the, the gorge on the other side, the opposite side. Um, sorry about the railings getting in the way.
Haven Mouse over there. Which is um, part of Bristol.